so this is what I'm using tonight this one here is a brand new set in the mini catalog we have whoopsie we have <clears throat> lots of dyes so I've got this one that looks a little bit like wheat on there this one's another one that looks a little bit like a scotch thistle I I think when I was doing my first card I decided I'd do another one in a different design and do it in um, purples and greens sort of like a scotch thistle if anyone knows what that is I am Cheryl Algy and I am in Kerrang Northern Victoria Australia so in Australia we have a thing called a scotch thistle or actually you probably have them in other countries too because probably Scotland is probably where it came from and you get these um, dies to cut out your sentiments as well so that's a fairly handy little set a mat because I'm using I'm also using the watercolor shapes just using the one the one step out of that so I'm just going to make a little design on my card with this stamp I'm actually going to test that out because as I said I haven't done this particular color before not that it should make any difference I just want to test mainly test out my stamp pad <clears throat> make sure I don't need to give it a massage with a spoon make sure it's all even just going to do that on my my grid paper just testing yeah that's pretty good and do I want it that dark well I've got it that dark on my original card so I think I'll go with that and I went in so just straight down got to give it a good press because it's photopolymer I know the lot I'm sorry about the lighting but of course with COVID restrictions hubby's home and the football's blaring in the lounge room and it annoys the it, it annoys me so just thought I'd come in here and the peace and quiet so just I don't know that I got ink on that one properly no I didn't but we're not going to worry not too much about that don't be too worried with your stamping usually with your um, other elements that you add you don't need to get too perturbed if you think you've made a little bit of a mess because my flowers are going to cover that up anyway so it's three I'm just I'm not being exact I'm just just going sort of in a roundabout fashion sort of sort of lining these these ones up I haven't lined those ones up have I Oh, I thought I was lining them up, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, that's okay. Um, what do I do next? So I might leave that open because we're going to do some sponging. Then where did I put my chamois? Yeah, probably should have started that one up closer to the to the top, but never mind. It'll be fine. I need that again I don't think so what I did next was I just basically added my foliage I've cut myself now this piece of um, DSP that's not current as you can probably all tell but I get a bit you know you have so many things left over that I just thought well you can get the get it in the this is the subtles pack you can still get the packs but they just don't have this design and I end up with um, <coughs> heaps of heaps of packs half used because I don't use them before the next catalog comes in so I thought you know what I'm just gonna go for it and use up what I've got and I really like the gingham anyway so <coughs> and I found some more snails so so we're gonna layer that on there looking at my other card I think I can stick that my shapes one straight onto there as well you could pop it up I don't think I did I'm always a bit aware of the postage so 
by all means you can pop it up with some dimensionals if that's what you fancy I don't know what I've got there, I've got a little mark there. We won't get too worried about that either. Don't ever get too worried about your stamping, about your cards. It's a card. So I've started to do, I did extras, so I could show you what I did. Um, so there's, maybe that one's done, I'm not sure. So see these ones, I'm actually going to do that on this little scratch piece so I don't dirty up a whole sheet of that. Add some texture, I haven't done that yet, with your, these are back in stock, I actually ordered some for a customer and myself yesterday because I think I need, I think I need as many as Rhonda and she tells me she's got 20 so I have to keep up don't I? <laughs> so just add some colour to that. It was bothering me that I had to make the wheat green, but I guess it's green before it changes colour, isn't it? But you know, wheat is um, typically a golden colour, so. So there's our little bit of texture there. And you just place them wherever you fancy. And for the purple ones, I'll show you one. On one, what I did, just add, 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 add a, going to add a little bit more green to this stem because it's not, it's not green enough for me. Just want to hold your die cut pieces down. You could, you could do this with your blends as well if you fancied. This is just a bit easier, I feel. And for the top of it, I just simply going to finish off with the green first I'm gonna I did do this before but I'm going to just go over those green bits again just add a little bit more color texture if you haven't gathered it already I like bright colors yeah I think that was all these ones I was going to color for you but I think I, I think you get the idea so I can save those for another card then, can't I? Um, I don't think I did two green ones. No, I didn't. I'll just show you quickly what how I did the purple ones. So I started with the Highland Heather. Started with the Highland Heather up the top. It's kind of got little bumps top of this this flower is gorgeous and then I gradually added the sorry I started with the gorgeous grape well actually I don't think I need the gorgeous grape I think I'm going to be good with just Highland Heather because you do the tip of it dark and then you can do the bottom of it a bit lighter same here. Let's do the tip of it a bit darker and graduate in. I'm hoping you can just pushing that there so you can see a bit better. And this one too. Difficult to remember <laughs> how I did this because I had this all ready to go. Well, I think I did it midweek last week, and then of course, as I said to everybody had my COVID injection, well, did that lay me out? I'm glad I had it, but wasn't expecting quite the reaction that I had. Never been so cold in all my life. Freezing, I was. Anyway, that's all in the past. Hopefully the next one's not going to be... Oh, and there's a sentiment in here. What did I do with it? So I just stamped that in just so just make sure I've already stamped one and cut it out just to make sure you're getting that straight just do it on your scratch piece I like to line up the bottom of the rubber but that's not always foolproof it is there though that's stamped perfectly along the bottom it's a bit harder when you don't want to stamp along the bottom 
you don't need to worry too much because you've got your die that I showed you previously, this one. And that's how I got. Let me just close these, this pad up as I mess up. So then I would just cut that out using the die. Okay, and then you're left with this sure whether I want to. I think I do want to sponge around that. Let's do that. So a very quick and easy peasy card. Just going to clean things off as I go. And I love this sentiment. You might not be able, it's very little, the words, but it says sending healing thoughts may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul so you could send that to someone who wasn't well or you could send it to someone who has lost someone as a sympathy card so then you just want to arrange your your little flowers as you like Oh, I know what I did too. I did some did some wink of salad, didn't I? Just adds a little bit of interest. Add the wink of Stella. Push that out the road. I'll sort of try and copy off my other one, sort of. I might, might come up with something I like better, perhaps. That one went there. I was really wanting to use ribbon with my first one, and I struggled. I really wanted to use a sentiment. Anyway, what I've come up with, I'll show you when we're done, I was actually happy with, so... Just use some wet glue. It is a beautiful grating, isn't it, Denise? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Just a touch of multi-purpose glue. You could have, of course, used your adhesive sheets. I'm a bit lazy, so I don't use them much. Lazy in that I don't. I don't necessarily want to spend all that time getting them, getting my um, cardstock prepped or I forget. It's more the point. I've cut it and then I thought, I think, oh, I should have used that. Um, now, trick with this is to try and get it to go in the right spot. Otherwise, you have glue everywhere. Just want to do that again. Now I want it there. We don't want to cover our wheat up too much. Anyone else think it looks like a scotch thistle or don't you know what a scotch thistle is? I came off a wheat farm near Sea Lake so I know very well what a scotch thistle is. Not that my dad ever had very many. He was a very good farmer. Won lots of awards for his um, techniques with, I don't know what you call it, with erosion, but not, you know, working the soil so you don't have too much erosion because, as you probably know, or some of you know, Sea Lake is the, is in the Mallee and it's very sandy soil. So, if I can dodge the other flower with that, try and sneak that there. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then I'm going to need some, I don't knock my iPad over, some dimensionals for this. And these big ones fit nicely. And I guess I could have, hindsight, I could have put the twine 
like snaked it around the sediment. I could have done that, but I'll show you what I did end up doing. Um, we'll put that there, maybe there. And I'm not even sure whether you can get white twine or not, but as I said, I have trouble keeping up with stamping up with things that retire and going in and out. We have it and then we don't, so can't get too worried about that. Get it while you see it. I think I got the pink and white. I think I got about three lots of that because I don't. I'd love to have my twine in all different colour, well, especially white, because then you can colour it to whatever colour you want, and you do have all different colours. So I just doubled that, as you saw. Actually, which way do I want to go? Didn't need to double my other one, it was thicker thread. I think it was linen thread, but I'm not quite sure, because I took it out of the packet. comes in a different packet now. That can go. I think this one might be a bit lower than my other one. Can you see my dilemma? It was very difficult to um, see where to pop this. Anyway, I went with just below and I was happy. You see, I could put it up there, but then my twine hangs down over the greeting. I didn't want it up too high, so yeah, I went with there. Just there. Now we want a glue dot. To find my little pokey tool. Oh, it's gone walkabout, has it? No, here it is. <clears throat> Just pick one up because you don't want it too wide, you want it a bit a bit narrower. And just pop him on the other side and I actually like to put a tiny bit of I like to put the glue dot as well but I like a tiny bit of multi-purpose as well because after time it depends whether you're going to now it's sticking to my finger whether you're going to use this straight away but after time your your um glue dots go hard and they drop off so they're here for a short time, not a not a good time, <laughs> shall we say. Okay. And now, what did I do with my gems? So I had planned on using these little green ones because I love them, these genial ones. And then I remembered these are new in the new mini. And they I've used them. As you can see, on a couple of cards I did, I thought, I wonder, wonder what they'll be like. So because they're new, and this, particularly this colour, you can see that that's the only colour I've used so far. They are beautiful. Well, what do you think, though? Should we use, just pick one up with this so I can put it back if we don't like it. Should we use this? Or should we use these? What do you reckon? Let's put it on there so I'm not messing everything up. And I thought I'd use this little one. Um, just the purple. Let me just see how that stamps. Yeah, I like that. Let's use that there. And we'll just use it on the envelope as well. So make sure I've got nothing in there so it's not going to make a ridge on there. sponging around that too. Maybe in the green and we'll do some sponging in the soft sea foam. I have not used this colour in quite some time. It was my favourite when it one of my favourites when it first came out and I've been doing some different sort of stamping which will be I'm getting prepped for classes. 
it will be my first in-person class in my new house because as most of you know we've sold our house signed the papers for the new house today so hopefully things will move along and we'll be moving mid-august i'm hoping so i'm probably not going to have any classes um in-person classes during august I plan to do a couple of online ones and i've got to um been doing this technique or I don't know if you call it a technique but there's different type of stamping and I can't I can't leave it alone and I've also been playing with where is it can I grab it and show you with another new set out of the new catalogue what did I do with it but, oh here it is so it's this one and oh, I just love it there's so much you can do with it and I've just been playing with heaps of techniques so <laughs> and of course they have to be in-person classes unless you pre-order the stamp set so I shouldn't be doing that I should be concentrating on the on the um, online classes really so what did we think about the gems green ones yeah my fave too yeah that's what I thought too I'm glad you guys all agree I thought even though I like the pewtery sort of ones, the um, genial ones are kind of, this is a pretty card and they are more, more for a pretty card, aren't they? So I'll just pop this in here. And pop our gems on. These are so pretty. Just pushed it onto the non-sticky bit. Where did I put them on this one? Give me a guide. Oh, we haven't got enough room down there. Never mind. We'll go up here. We'll go. That looks nice there. And we'll go down here. Get all the rubbish out the road so you can see. Yeah, so that's that's tonight's card. And I do have another one to show you in the watercolour shapes. And this was my original one that I was going to do. It looks like I've splashed that with some Wig of Stella as well. Okay, so I really liked that as well. What did I use? What colour's that? I'm not even sure what colour that is. What is it? Oh, it's um Pale Papaya. That's right. Yeah. And I've used the early Espresso design a series paper around it and sponged it with early espresso and pale papaya so there's another one for you and another one i was going to show you is i think i'll put the punch away is with the watercolor shapes so quick and easy all i did and don't put it around that way all i did was punch i'll show you the punch punched my stars out of this this is a celebration um, paper punched my stars out there did the shape the the rectangle shape in the watercolor shapes whack that on there did my greeting and I'm done so that coordinates with the punch coordinates with it's got a stamp set as stamp as well that coordinates with that it's got some lovely greetings. Celebrate the wonder. Be merry and bright. Twinkle, twinkle, little twinkle, twinkle, Christmas star. The stars are shining brightly. Joy to the world. And it's also got the baubles and you've got the string. So nothing to cut the baubles out, but you would probably do that. They would be easy enough to paper snip out anyway. But yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that as another quick little card with that. With the same using the watercolour shapes you prefer tonight's card yeah that's fine yeah I think I do too because I'm I'm not very much into browns and I'm trying to make myself like the not that I don't like them I'm more into these colours than these colours so but we need to use all our colours don't we okay that was probably fairly quick thanks everyone for joining me and I'll see you next time